But along this whole thing with the uh, that we're all going to die in 12 years, I thought this would be uh, the perfect segment to bring up uh, the list of 50 years of failed predictions by the left of environmental catastrophe. So here's I'm just going to run down real quickly on these, Craig. Uh, if you uh, if you want me to stop and talk about one, just wave your hands and stop me. Okay. Uh, started all it started back in ni- 1967. A forecast, a famine was forecasted uh, to wipe out America by 1975. In 1969, everyone will disappear in a cloud of blue stream. I don't even know what that is. Uh, There's a prediction by environmentalists that there's an ice age by the year 2000. And this is predicted in 1970. What year is it, Craig? Uh, It's 2023, the last I checked. Oh, so are we before, is this going to happen before? when, when was this prediction? Are we past that, or is it still coming? Yeah, I think we're a little past I'm, I'm a little bit rough at math. <laughs> All right. Not, not again, in 1970, America is, go, uh, is going to be subject. Somebody predicted America is going to, the experts predicted America is going to be subject to water rationing by 1974 and food rationing by 1980. Yep. I remember hearing a lot 71, of 71, a study said a new ice age is coming by, 20, by 2020. Oh, another ice age. Uh, 1972, a new ice age. Yep, yep. Uh, 1974, space satellites showed that another ice age is coming fast. They didn't give an a, a, a date or anything like that, but uh, it was doom and gloom. Uh, 1974, uh, 75, another ice age. Uh, ozone depletion was going to cause great peril to life in 1974. 1976, scientific consensus. Consensus. Planet is cooling, famines are imminent. 1980, acid rains kill all life in all lakes. 1978, no end in sight to the 30-year cooling trend. It's a cooling trend in 1978. Regional droughts in 1988 that never happened. 1988, a prediction of temperatures in D.C. will hit record highs, causing death and famine. Um, Here's... Some uh, real quick. Oh, the Maldive Islands will be underwater by 2018. Uh, 1989 study: rising sea levels will obliterate nations if nothing is done by the year 2000. That's a good one. Uh, New York's West Side Highway will be underwater by 2019. <laughs> Children won't know what snow is. In 2000, there's an article, a scientific article, saying that children won't know what snow is by 2030. Uh, ask bring the, it ask on, the people you know? in California right uh, now. 2002. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. How's that global cooling going? Uh, 20, 2002, famine in 10 years if we don't give up eating fish, meat, and dairy. This was a study done in 2002. Uh, study in 2004 predicted Britain uh, would be a Siberia by the year 2024. Uh, then they kind of switched gears in 2008, and now all of a sudden it's global warming. So in 2008, there's a prediction that the Arctic will be free of ice by the year 2018. Uh, Craig, what year are we in? Uh, uh, still 2023. <laughs> we pass it or not? I'm, I'm a little slow at this. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. I think we we passed it, uh, so we we blew right by that oh, one. Did pass? Okay. The the ice age and the freezing or the thawing and, and stuff it's supposed to occur at the same time we passed them both luckily they they work themselves out but they, they... i'm not done okay oh, oh okay so okay <laughs> um let's see uh climate genius al gore predicts ice-free arctic by 2013 uh there we go 2009 climate genius uh prince charles says he will we will have 96 months to save the world in 2009 oh this is some good stuff. Uh, climate <laughs> genius Al Gore moves his 2013 prediction of an ice-free Arctic to one year later in 2014. Again, missing um, ginormously. Um, 2014, a scientific study says 500 days before climate chaos. So there's some of that fear-mongering. Uh, 2006, uh, they predicted super hurricanes. Have we had super I don't know. Maybe maybe uh, these last hurricanes were super hurricanes. Maybe we'll give them one. I don't know. Uh, 1966, they predicted that oil was going to be gone in 10 years. Then they changed it in 72 to say it'd be gone in 20 years. 
Um, 2005, a scientific study said Manhattan's going to be underwater by 2015. 1970, there is a scientific thing that the a scientific study that said urban citizens will need gas masks to breathe because of the fog and the uh, 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 what do you call that? Um, all the um, the pollutants and stuff like that. They'd need gas masks to even walk around the city. Uh, that didn't happen. Um, and then uh, last one, I'll leave on a high note. Uh, 1970s, they predicted killer bees were going to take over <laughs> the earth. I remember that one. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, I was actually uh, I actually so was scared of the killer bee uh, threat when I was because you know when I was a kid then, and uh, that one actually scared me a little bit. But it was a toss up, you know. You, you didn't mention the fact yeah. that we were all going to die in a nuclear fire from the, yeah. the, the the nuclear war that was in you know impending any minute. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yeah. And, and then, a, uh, is there a where... theme? You know, they keep the constant fear yeah. going. The one we hear in the news now is we've got, what, 12 years. That's the one AOC's uh, harping on and everybody's uh, mimicking whatever she says and whatever Greta says. So we've got 12 years to fix this and no amount of taxation is too much to save the earth. And uh, they've got their followers, though, Craig. There are people that uh, that eat this uh, hook, line, and sinker. sinker. Aren't we, like, on this sixth anniversary of we only have 12 years left or something? How dare you? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. It's uh, the never-ending story, right? Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this clip from the Craig's Gun Channel Random Shots program. Uh, the program airs Thursdays at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. On Random Shots, we discuss content from ranging anything from preparedness, uh, survival, politics, uh, firearms, basically anything that's 2A related, uh, with sometimes some rabbit trails on things that aren't related at all. Uh, if you enjoy this type of programming, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified when we release new content. And if you like it, hit the like button and the share us if you would as well. It helps the algorithm and helps the channel grow and helps get our message out. So I guess uh, until next time, stay safe.